This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. Your Marley NC cooling tower was likely configured with a guardrail and ladder for safely accessing the cooling tower's fan deck. The guardrail configuration depends on the cooling tower's ladder location. The two most common ladder locations are on the cased face or along the air inlet side. The air inlet side is sometimes referred to as the louver face. Before proceeding, determine your cooling tower's guardrail configuration and ladder location. This video will cover guardrail installation on an NC cooling tower with an air inlet or louver face ladder as shown here. The drawings and figure numbers for your guardrail and ladder are included in the field installation manual that ships with your NC cooling tower. For more information, watch episode two, installation drawings in this video series. Be sure to use nylock nuts for all stainless steel fasteners. Lock washers are only required for galvanized fasteners. On stainless steel towers, hardware that attaches directly to the tower is also stainless steel. All remaining hardware is galvanized. Stainless steel bolts are prone to galling. Generously apply thread lubricant Z21 to the threads of stainless steel bolts before tightening nuts. Be sure to watch episode three, Necessary Hardware, for more information on procedures to organize hardware prior to installation. If your cooling tower was configured with an air inlet side ladder, the ladder is installed on the outside of the cooling tower's air inlet face as shown here. Your guardrail assembly process will be different from the cased face ladder assembly process. Follow these instructions for this guardrail assembly option. The cased face guardrail assembly process is the same on both case sides. Begin by installing guardrail section L37 to the existing post clips as shown here. Next, install guardrail section L35 to the L37 section. On larger Marley NC models, install guardrail section L34 to existing post clips. Next, install section L36 between L34 and L37. Next, install the guardrail on the air inlet face without the ladder. The process for this assembly is as follows. First, install the first half of the air inlet face guardrail section, in this case section number L32, to the corner column and the existing post clips as shown here. Next, install the other half of the guardrail section, in this case section number L33, to the corner column. Bolt both guardrail sections together as shown here. After installation of the air inlet face guardrails, install plugs L28 in the tops of all vertical guardrail posts as shown here. Finally, install the guardrail on the air inlet face where the ladder is located. This process is different for NC8401 models than for larger NC8402 through 8414 models. For NC8401 models, first, install guardrail section L32 to the corner column as shown here. Next, install corner post CF1 to the corner column as shown. Be sure to insert plugs L28 in the top of all vertical guardrail posts. For NC8402 through 8414 models, First, connect guardrail sections L32 and L82 to the corner column as shown here. Insert plugs L28 in the top of all vertical guardrail posts. The latter opening here is shown left of the cooling tower's center line. The other option is to place the ladder to the right of the center line. Refer to your specific schematic plan drawing for your ladder location. Once the guardrail is fully installed, it's time to move on to the ladder assembly and installation. For more information on ladders, watch video 10 in this series, Ladder Assembly and Installation. For more information on installing a Marley NC cooling tower, be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series. 
Thanks for watching.